Co-signing. Co-signing what? What's going on guys? Bradley Martin here. I'm gonna go eat before we go train and do this video right now So you got to give a little bit, you know typical Bradley Martin style videos I guess we're like waste a lot of your time with the intros and stuff. Yeah, so the gym's crazy. You were here all day, right? I was here all day. Bro, insane today. Saturday. It's like a destination. You're saying it's like people go like to hey, fucking... people New Mexico, Oklahoma. Bro, whoa. All over. Some dude drove from here. Yo, later. Hey bro, hey yo, have you guys been to uh, to that new gym yet right here? Oh, there's a gym open up over here. Yeah man, I heard it's, it uh, I heard it's called uh, Zoo. What? Whoa. Have you guys been over I've, there I've never heard of it. I, I want to go check it out, but I heard it's pretty whack. I don't know. Oh, you heard it's whack? But he yeah. said it was the heat that... Bro, I don't know. Dope. Don't listen to him, it's dope. Yeah, way it's different. Dope. We'll experience. check it out. Hey, Sacramento, you different experiences? Right? San Bernardino, hey, San Bernardino. Shout out San Bernardino. These guys right here. Thank you, bro. So, check this out, right? It's like... Some kid drove from Oklahoma. Well, however many hours yeah. he crashed his car no. on the way here. Crashed his car crashed on the way car, here. Man. Got an Uber. Ubered an hour to finish the trip to get here. <laughs> I swear to God, it was totaled. He totaled his Yo, fucking car. Dude. It's in an impound. He's totaled it. I'm not playing. This shit is no gangs, man. It's real out here. Damn. Gains is life. If you want gains, you total car. You say fuck this car. I'm getting an Uber. I'm making it to the Yo, gym. That's you should be the. Thumb that is the. That's insane. He did. He to, like he told me this in here. I wait, wish I actually. Why wait, did we film that? Wait, where is he? Do we? I mean, we can't total the. Gone. Yeah, he's gone. You should tell him to send the, the photo. We could have used it as the well, thumbnail. Okay, I'll find him on the gram. Yeah, find him right now. I'll find him on the gram, and then we'll get that. Because okay. I'm sure he took a photo of it. For sure, insurance purposes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Unless you like, just oh. forgot. Yeah. yeah. Unless you good. don't have insurance, he's riding dirty. <laughs> <laughs> like me, low key. Just no. kidding. I got insurance. Now you do. No, I got my license though. No, just kidding. I got my license. It's just. It's not on me all the time. It's like it's a picture on my phone. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat chicken. I'm gonna go back and train. Um, I'm gonna try and see what I can do for arms because like my arms kind of fucked up. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey. Yeah, man. But so this is crazy, man. Like my like, yo. If you guys want to come, I'll put the link to the gym so you can get like you know the IG for the gym like Zoo Culture. So you guys can see. All you gotta do is go to it so you can click. A little pre hype. Yeah, a little pre hype. You know, a little plug right here. But if you click it, you get directions. You can show up, and I'm here. So I'm here most of the time. I'm not gonna tell you them the time again because I said it in the last video. True. So you know, we back. told the last video it was just at that point, you know, just in that video. Don't tell anyone else. So true. Anyways, we're gonna go eat chicken, it was just like right down the street. So we we're like, why not walk? It's a beautiful day. Yeah, Sunny California. Really it is. Right. They're probably I wonder if I'm in focus. Probably not. Probably not. Fuck it. <laughs> no, it, you are you're gonna get a new camera, you said, right? Yeah. So Kevin's getting a new camera that's gonna have like way sticker autofocus. Yeah. Um, so we're, gonna, we're trying to improve our our uh, cinematographical skills. Yep. Yeah, because there's but not too much because we don't. Yeah, know. not too much because like let's. I we, mean, only, we can't do that. Yeah, because then it's weird. And just, told, the people actually today they were like, don't do that. And it's just it's just like I gotta make everything look no, super it, high production and shit. Like, no, uh, that's cool. You know, if you, if your audience likes cin cinematography, but honestly, like I don't no, think you, you guys. I think like, it's really cool, and I think there's a time and a place for yeah. all that stuff. But but right now it's too hot, so. Yeah, it's too hot. Like, what am I gonna have? I mean, it's not like you know. It'd be funny if I had like a camera crew and shit, like all behind you, like a bunch of like a boom mic and like yeah. a guy and like a steady cam machine and yeah. like and the lighting and, reflector and a lighting and reflector. And like that a would be nuts. We got him right here. Look. Ah, 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 there's no one there. You've been in this place right here up the street? Yeah, it's a chicken place. It's good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. I'll all show right. you guys what I get. I pretty much get the same thing every every day, all the time. And at home, I cook the same thing. I'm a creature of habit, but I don't mind it. All right, I'll show you the food. Right, this is my chicken bowl spot right here. But look, look, I just opened the door. Look, what? There's a dude right there. Look. What? You got the shirt on. Look. What? What? What shirt is that, bro? It's not. Hey, you sure? Yeah. Positive. Positive, man. Hey. <laughs> oh, it's a spot right here. It's a spot, right? It's a spot, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. We can't. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, shout out, to, shout out to him. He's from Miami. He's from Miami. Shout out to Miami boys. Yes, yo. Ponzo, uh, Guillermo, Cabana, all the boys from Miami. From LA. Hey. Out here. What are you filming this? What you get? Smart, bro. So. Definitely eat that first. Yeah. Huh. And that. Because that's easier, right? Yeah. Okay. It's like having like ice cream. So I should eat this first. Chicken. Yeah, for sure. Eat all the hard stuff first. <laughs> I'm so getting. I'm getting. I actually like veggies, man. 
No, like, this is protein sauce. Right, soy sauce. You telling me there's not protein in soy? I mean, I'm sure there is, but like, how much protein do you think? Protein, one, bro. One gram? Probably less. Less? <laughs> this is good. Yeah? Secret spot. Where is it? Here, bro. You're not gonna tell him? Not yet? Uh huh. Until we work out the, the, the details? Until I get them all discounts. Yeah. Sure. I'm working on get you guys all discounts, so. Around the gym? Yeah. So when you guys come to the gym, you can come like eat places like this and get like super sweet discount, discounts. Yeah, and then get super so sweet squad. Beans, yeah. Squad, you already know. Yeah, look at the ball, ball just got balled up. Damn. Who we just fuck? Fuck his dad. I don't even know them. Yeah. I do know. The internet loves that hype though. For sure. They love hype, man. Man, this is so good. What is better? Our old place or this one? I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. We'll see. I'm not hungry enough to try it like that. I mean, hungry? I know that's good right there, but that's fried, so it's like, it's cheating. You know? Does that make me a cheater, bro? A cheater. Whatever. All right, so I'm not actually gonna work out. My arm is bugging me. Show him the arm, Kev. These points. Yeah. The arm. You guys saw in the video where I messed it up. I'm not gonna work out today. Have a good one, man. Yeah, very good to meet you. So, check this out. Um, a lot of people I read in comments or people come up to me and they'll talk about like the gym. How did I do it? Like, what what was it? What was a part of it? Uh, why did I do it? Um, how much money did I spend? Uh, all kinds of questions just just and I'll get a lot of other fitness people or like people who want to start YouTube channels or they want to get popping on the gram or whatever right and it's open a lot gym. Of, yeah. open up a gym that's the same thing I want to do I want to have a gym just like that and um, I guess I just want to not really like I don't know how do I share this story how do I start this story I want to kind of share with you guys how it all started like because a lot of people will see, I guess, me now on the YouTube channel and they'll be like, oh, he's got this, he's got this, he got a gym, he's these things. But I want to try and make it more relatable for you guys. Um, I mean, who knows? Maybe you own 10 gyms. I don't even know. But the point is, like, if you're hungry, if you are eager, if you are passionate, if you care about this fitness industry, if you care about whatever industry you're in, you, you want to, like, do something more than what you're doing now, I guess this video is for you. Because a lot of people, they come to ask. They, they want to know because, oh, this is a goal of mine. This is a dream of mine. And... I gotta kinda take it back to the first thing I ever sold, okay? So the first thing I ever sold, I wanna I want kinda talk about this, was uh, online coaching on the internet. And cause I was one of the first people, actually I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, I was the first person on Instagram to do this whole like online coaching thing. And I did it at 10,000 followers. And I remember 10,000 followers what year like, was this? maybe the beginning of 2012, Five years 2011, ago. yeah. yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> 10,000 followers, so you guys know, was that I went to a, like a like a fitness thing and it was like, yo, that's the dude, that's the that's the guy, 10,000, that's the guy, I swear, that's the guy right there, <laughs> that's the guy, and I'm telling you, man, like, I was I was just the normal, that was I was just I was training at goals like at the time, right? There's a lot trainer, more yeah. coming before this. So I was a personal trainer. I was just posting pictures and like not even videos because videos weren't there. Posting pictures of like transformation and ab shots where I would always do like the side thing like this, and. But people were like, oh, that's a guy, it's Instagram, he's got 10. It's... And uh, anyways, that's the first thing I sold years ago, right? But I want to talk about one really significant thing. Um, and it wasn't the very first thing I sold, but it was the first piece of apparel that I sold. I want to share this experience with you guys because I just want to talk about these few things before I get into like this more in detail, right? To relate it to you guys. So I bought 300 shirts. 300 shirts. They said hashtag team being fit on the back because I used to like rep that. Did it look uh, cool? Yeah, it was cool. I wish I could. I mean, oh shit, I had to left some at the old house. Damn. I, I could. I'll send you a picture. You could throw it in there. Okay. So you could put it like here or something. So the hashtag team being fit, talk less, do more was like the slogan. Um, <laughs> so I got 300 of these shirts, right? And I'm like, oh, I'm going to sell out of all these bitches. <laughs> I'm going to sell out all these shirts. I sold. <laughs> I sold 12 shirts. <laughs> 12 shirts. I'm talking about, tw like, I was like, and now I'm gonna t I want you to understand at the time, 300 shirts, I think maybe like, I don't know, it was like. You spent a lot of money. Your yeah, money. close to a little more than $3,000, I think, on all those shirts. Yo, wow. Yeah, the cost was like, 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking, oh, for sure, I got this. Like, I got 10,000, you know, I'm the man, I'm doing giveaways, I'm doing all this shit. You know, like, you know, I'm the guy. 10,000, right? I'm the guy. And uh, so, so like, pick these shirts up, I got them in my house, like, I'm gonna deliver them myself. You know, this is going down. I sold 12. <laughs> I, I legit have those shirts at the old house right now. And I guess I'm just kind of saying this to tell you guys, like, where I'm at now is insane, right? This compared, here compared now, to that, yeah. compared to that. Yeah. But that was how many years ago, right? What, five, five, six years ago? Six, I mean, two, let's call it 2000. Let's call it 2012. Yeah, five years. Yeah, to where we are now. And the only real thing that I did between that time and this time, obviously, you guys see this whole like social media and all these things, but all I did was go from the very beginning, from day one, from the 10,000, the guy 10,000, for the first time I bought 300 shirts and held them and I was gonna send them off myself and I only sold 12. The only thing I did that I think a lot of people just forget to do every single day is believe that you could have something, right? That's the very first thing. Believe that you, ha you could have something and that you deserve it. Like that you're worthy of it. That like you as a human being, who you are, what you stand for, what you love, you deserve what you want. You deserve the things that you like. Oh man, you dream. I dream about the car. I dream about whatever the girl. I dream about the gym. I dream about, it doesn't matter. Whatever your dreams are, if you believe that you deserve it. And then the biggest thing that people forget that I was able to do every single day, every day, was work towards that. Whatever that big picture was, it was, it was, a, it was a gym, right? It was this, right? I was able to do something every single day. I could say I did something every single day. And, in, and every day, so you guys understand, it's not like you're gonna take giant leaps and giant bounds every day towards that goal, but do something even if it's this fucking big, this big. Right? I was. I can say. I can stand here right now and say I did something every single day to get closer to that, even if it was this big, even if it was this big. And I think so many people forget that. That it's not enough just to say, "Oh, I believe I deserve this and I should have this," and then be like, "All right, where's it at?" No, you got to be like, "I believe I deserve this. What direction do I have to go in? How am I going to make this happen? What can I do today?" Oh, is that direction? I'm gonna take a step every day. I was. I can say without a doubt in my mind, I did it every single day. Okay. And if you can do those things, you can have anything you want. It doesn't matter if it's a gym, it doesn't matter if it's, I don't care what it is, a car, like I said, it's, whatever, right? If you have the passion, if you believe you can do something, you're willing to work for it, and you believe you deserve it, and you're gonna do it every day, it, everyone's time frame, everyone's timeline is gonna be different, right? Because what happens is, because I'll admit, there's plenty of days where I could have done more, and I didn't, because I got caught up in this, I got caught up in relationship stuff, I got caught up in, existing work stuff, I got caught up in issues, uh, friends, anything, right? So what happens is I think there's people who can become more successful more quickly because they're able to, they're able to like get this, this tunnel vision of what they want and just, just focus on that and just go towards that and, and, and let go, like negate, like, uh, like remove the other bullshit. So I can say there's been plenty of times in my life where I didn't go as far as I could each day because I got caught up in things that really didn't make me happy. Because that's, that's the truth, those, those things that you, you have this turmoil, this issue with the relationship, this and that, those things are not really making you happy, but you're still dealing with them because some, there's some tie, there's something that you feel like you need to do this, you need to do this. And right, don't get me wrong, there's certain things in life you need to do, right? Because let's say you have rent, you have to pay rent. You need to put that time in to pay the rent, right? You need to put that time in to like do whatever job you're doing now, you don't have to be loving it, you don't have to be liking it, but you gotta do it. The trick is to start to find a balance of like, when can you start to turn what you love, your passion, into like what you do every day to be able to uh, obviously make money to be able to pay those bills that you gotta pay. Like that's one of the hardest things to figure out, but I'm trying to tell you guys and get you guys to understand that you don't figure it out overnight. You don't figure it out the first day that you set a goal. You don't figure out, let's say 365 days, you don't figure out, and I don't know what 365 times two is, but I was gonna do two years. So six, what, seven, seven something, seven something, right? 700 something days, you don't fit, it's like, it just, that's the thing, it just, your timeline is gonna be different. And you have to be okay with saying like, hey, I have all these goals, I have all these dreams, I'm gonna do something every day towards it. But don't go like this, don't be like, oh, but I expect it to happen here. Like, give yourself goals, dates. Like, I remember I was uh, 16, and I wrote down on a piece of paper, and I used to read it every single morning, and I gotta get back to that. I gotta write down my goals again and read them every morning again. Because I still have new goals, big new goals. But I would read it every morning. I was like, man, by the time I'm this age, I wanna make this much money. That was, that was a financial goal that I had. And uh, did I do it? That's the question. 
What do you think? Maybe, I don't know. Do you think I did it? Wait, when did you write this goal? When I was 16. By this age, I want to do this? By this age, I want to, this was my goal. You think I did it? You don't think I did it? Uh, I didn't do it. Yeah, because maybe it was like, by what, 25? Or no? I don't 24. Know. 24 was the goal. Oh, okay. And I didn't do it. Yeah. And I'm telling you guys this because... It's fine. Exactly. It's yeah. fine. Like, you have to realize that you're not always going to be like, I'm on the mark every single time. You, you get on the mark today. You don't get on the mark tomorrow. You get on the mark the next. As long as you just keep trying and keep doing something every day, I'm trying to get you to realize that timeline because I get so many people get so caught up in like, but I don't have it now. You know, I know oh, it's going to be so hard and it's going to be so difficult. And all these people are saying, oh, don't do that. It's hard. It's difficult. Be realistic. You're hearing all this shit. And then you and then so you're over here and you're taking all this this all these opinions because they might be from people like your parents, people that you love, people that you care about. So then they, you let it kind of get to you, and it slows you down. And you find yourself like like you're running through mud trying to like figure some shit out. And you're like, all these people are saying this, but that's where I want to go. And then you slip. And then you you set a goal, you set a day, and you don't make it. But look look at this. Look at this shit. There was like 300 people here this morning, and to me that was a dream. But it's a reality now. And the only difference was me putting in, being able to put in the work every day. Yeah. And understanding that even if today I didn't do as much as I, I did yesterday, I still did something, something, this much. So I just wanted to talk about this whole like, this gym thing and this process thing and just get you guys, I don't want to say that whole trust the process because whose tagline is that? I don't know. That's some basketball player. That's like, I think he's a, I think he's a clip, no, not Clippers, it's a, Anyways, it's this whole last thing, like trust the process, but I don't know. Um, but it's true, you have to like believe in yourself. Believe that you're capable to have what you wanna have. You deserve what you wanna have. Really believe it. But take that a step further and be willing to say, okay, I deserve these things, but am I putting in the work to get these things? Like, are you putting in the work? That's the, that's the biggest thing in this video I want you guys to take away from this. You believe and you want these things and you think it's cool and people got social media and you want it too and you want this or you want that. But are you willing to put in the work every day to get it? It's that simple. That's the question you gotta ask yourself. You could have anything you want. You may not have it tomorrow, you may not have it in a year, you may not have it in five years. Maybe you have it in six. Maybe you have it, like shit. I didn't, it, it, it's crazy because a lot of times I'll go by and I'll be like, damn, this shit's taking forever. It's taking forever. But Jim, eight month process, this is taking forever. It took, I, I found, it took forever to find a space. And then from finding the space, it took this many more months to get it open. It took this many months to get the equipment, this many months to get the, the permits. It's taking forever, it's taking forever. And then one day you wake up and it's all here. And you look back and you're like, man, that was fast. But when you're in it, you get caught up in this whole, this time. But guys, don't stress it. Just keep going, I've talked about this. Believe that it's possible. Put the work in every single day and you can have whatever you want. Right? And the only thing I, the thing I always talk about, the things you can't have, is you can't be like, oh, I want to be like 6'8 and be a basketball player. Like, it's, if it didn't happen, it didn't happen. That's the one thing. That's the one thing you can't be like, oh, but I really want this. I believe I deserve this. Why am I not 6'8? I was like, you're not 6'8, bro. You got to find something else. And, and honestly, who, what? IT, how, how tall is he? Who's that? Doing the Clippers. Oh. I don't he's like he's like foot. Know, he's like five eight. He's five eight. Isaiah Thompson. Uh, uh, Thompson or Thomas? Uh, Tom. Tom, I'm not. A, I'm like an expert. I'm not an expert basketball guys. I'm not. A, but he's he's on the Celtics, five, and he's he's five eight. All I'm saying is like if you really want it, you really put in the work. Just it's that simple. And I want I wanted to do this video just to show you guys like. Because so many people come up to me in this gym and they're like, oh, I'm doing vlogs for my channel and I want to be doing this YouTube thing and all this stuff. What's your best advice? Keep doing it. What, exactly. Like, people think that there's some magic, like, no. shit that I'm going to be like, oh, bro, there's a secret door over here. Check yeah. this out. We're going to go to Narnia together. Like, come through this door and everything will be revealed. It's just not like that. Yeah. It's not like that. It's literally like, yo, there's a door over there. How hard are you willing to open that bitch? Yeah. Period. Like, you're going to pull with all your, like, you're going to break, like, you got to get through that wall. Get through that wall. Yeah. There's no secret, get to that wall. How do you get to it? You have to figure it out, right? You don't have the tools, how do you get the tools? You work on them. You gotta go find them, you gotta go, you know what I'm saying? Like, you wanna put a hole through that wall, how do I do it? I can't physically do it with my hand, I gotta figure out a way to do it. What, I gotta go to Home Depot, I gotta hire this part, what, what do you have to do? And are you willing to do all those things to get through that wall? To get to your little fancy door, whatever it is. But that's all this is, like, I, damn, I just, I just, I don't know, man. And I guess one more thing that's super, super important is if you give a sh like if you really care about what you're doing, like if it comes from your heart, then it won't be hard. It's just gonna take time. If you care about it, 
right? Because people always come up to me and they're like, oh man, I met these other blah, blah, blah peoples on the YouTubes or this and that and whatever the fuck and, you know, they give the same answer. They give the same thing. It's, it's, it's blah. It's just, they're on the internet and they seem like this and then I meet in person and they seem like that. The truth is, yeah. if you want to let, have a good one. That was when we talked to that guy for a little bit. But the point is like, if it's true, if it's coming from your heart, there's no, there's no like, I don't know, I can't say you don't have to work, like it's not hard, because it will take time and it can be hard, but it's gonna feel natural. Like it's gonna feel good, it's gonna feel easy to you. It's gonna be something that like fulfills you when you do it, if it's coming from your heart. And so if you wanna be on YouTube, you wanna survive on YouTube, you wanna survive on social media, you wanna be the guy on the gram, you wanna be the guy on YouTube, and whatever, if for, for any business, not just fitness, it doesn't matter, right? It's gotta come from your heart. And because if you find yourself and it's not coming from your heart, but you do it because it's cool and people say it's cool and this and that, and you're forcing something, you're gonna, people will eventually see that and feel that, that you're forcing it. You're forcing it. Just like I had to stop doing YouTube, like what, a month ago? Because yeah. I felt like I was forcing it. I felt like I was doing it just because I, I had to do it. I gotta post videos, right? Because I was so burnt out on other things and I was focused on this. And so being able to be like, what's really going on? I feel like I'm forcing this. Let me take a step back and come back with it, with you know, really revitalize, ready to do it. So that's just a small example in my life, but there's tons more. But the point is, this is about you and your life. Whatever you're doing, let it come from your heart. And if it's really coming from it, you just keep going. And you're gonna run into roadblocks, but you just keep going. Cause it's gonna feel normal, it's gonna feel natural, it's gonna feel good, it's gonna make you happy. Um, that's it, I love you guys. Um, what else, what is this to say? I don't said, dude. You got any words? Of, where's the where's the wisdom over there? <coughs> Hit it. Look at that yeah. hair. It's crazy, man. Crazy. So, that's it, guys. Um, you guys are all welcome to come to the gym. Uh, show them, we'll show them the address real quick. Everyone, people seem to come here on the weekends. It's madness, and people come and they're like, "Yo, I'll put you in my vlog, do this." So you guys are more than welcome to come do that. Ask questions. Six. Take thumbnails. Four. 55 DeSoto Avenue, Avenue Woodland, Hills. Woodland Hills, California. Come take pictures. 91367. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Come take pictures, come take videos, come interview me, do whatever you want. What's that? Oh, oh yeah. Hours. Oh, yeah. Hours? We gotta change. Oh, it's 7 a.m. now, Saturday. Yeah. Oh. And then, uh, and then we find a gram. Follow gram. Oh, that's also a Twitter. Oh, and look, what do you know? Facebook. Anyways, I love you guys. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. More important. What? Come do videos with me. Come film videos, you know? Put my name in your title. Do all of it. Get some views. Do it. Grow that channel. I love you guys. I'm out.